Welcome to Instant Discussions, episode 13. Th 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 thir wait, it's not yet. 13. <laughs> not yet. And uh, what are we discussing this week? I'm Stefan. That's what we're discussing. <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> I'm Tony. Tony. <laughs> uh, today we're discussing how beer saved the world, or maybe how it didn't save the world, <laughs> on, depending on your facts. So how beer <laughs> saved the world from which year? 2011? 2011? I think it probably. is. Probably. Probably. You should probably look it up. Mm -hmm. I just figure out what we're talking about. But uh, this was a 44 minute uh, yeah. show for Discovery. Yeah, it was a Discovery Channel. Discovery show. Channel. Yeah. Um, yeah, like and kind of related to how beer saved the world. So um, we put up that old episode of, uh, instant dis or of uh, Drunk and <laughs> Debates. Drunk and Debates, yeah. From, from about oh, the same God. time. I, I, hadn't, I had never seen that, and I didn't realize how horrible I am when. <laughs> No, that was, that was gold. That you I watched know. it. That was gold. I didn't think I was that bad. I thought you were aware <laughs> of... Well, not bad, but just how entertaining oh, you were. God. That was so funny. My sister didn't think so. <laughs> My brother did, though. Because for part of it, it seemed like you were doing a bit. Well, like, I, was you know I think much... I was drunk and I was trying to like be, yeah, be entertaining. Yeah. I saw that a little bit. And yeah. I was like, oh my god, though. It was just horrible. <laughs> But that was a good. That was good. That was good. Oh, so you introduced to Charles, right? You've never met him before. I still haven't met him. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, you can see how interesting, interesting he is. I love when he tries to do himself. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever noticed? He was yeah. doing <laughs> Andy <laughs> Rooney. Oh, is that what he's trying? Yeah. You see, because Andy Rooney at the time was about to do his last 60 minutes, because that was a thing, because that was from two years ago. I thought he was doing it himself. I, I almost thought he was trying to do an impression of, uh, oh, what's that actor's name? Oh, I'm never going to remember it. I'll, so, I'll think of it. How Beer Saved the World. Yes. This was my second time watching. Yeah. And okay. it was weird, because it was a lot different the second time. Were you drunk For the me. first time? I think I may have. I like. I like to come home. <laughs> There's a pattern. Add the word beer in the title. There's a pattern. I come home and I watch things on Netflix before I go to bed, and I was like, "This is the coolest story ever. This is awesome." But watching it sober, I was like, "There's a lot of hypothetical stuff going on here. Yes. Yeah, a lot of theories. Yeah. A lot of yeah. some people say." And I was like, "Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah." Uh, this reminded me a lot of. There's a, a, a series on Netflix that you could find. It's. Uh, uh, how, how, stuff works, how stuff works, uh, which is also from Discovery Channel, and they they kind of do the same thing in that series. So they'll um, go through, and they have an episode on beer. But they also have one on uh, I don't know wheat and uh, I watched the corn one. That was yeah, really good. Corn. Uh, they're they're very interesting things, but I have well, high fructose high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, everything, everything we really eat is like yeah, it's, it's corn. And everything why is corn, corn based like, on that? Everything's it's, corn. But it's an interesting thing. The, the way that they set up this. Documentary is kind of the same way, way that the, it's the same way that they do it on on how stuff works, and it's also something that I've seen Michael Moore do a lot, especially mm. in uh, one of the recent ones I was watching with the, the Capitalism a Love Story. Oh, um, that yeah, I watched that. Where I I call it good point, good point, bad point, and they yeah. they do it a lot where they're 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 saying something that's like oh that's really interesting, that's mm -hmm. really good, and then they'll say something that is so wrong that it completely invalidates their argument. Uh -huh. And is that something that you're like, no, well, it either, you're, you're stretching way too far. It either that. completely invalidates it, or it leads the audience to believe yeah, this one doesn't go too crazy. Point. Yeah. Um, specifically, there was a, there, so they, they do the, the tease of what's coming up next, mm -hmm. because it's made for television. Yeah. And so there's one, the, it says like, you know, we're going to show you how beer cured illness. And we're going to show you how beer built the pyramids. Yeah. And then they're like later, how beer led to ice cream. They showed ice cream. Oh, like, yeah. Beer and ice cream. Beer and, no, beer and ice cream. There's, there's, they didn't make ice cream for beer. And then you get led down this thing of refrigeration and this. Oh, and because we have refrigeration, you could also have ice cream. And it was just like every, how yeah, everything's yeah. like, I like no. it's, it's like the, the Sarah Palin uh, connections that are being made. It's like <laughs> because of this, then tangent. Obama becomes the devil. But it's not yeah. necessarily too that it's like because See, of Obama's beer. got the charisma like Hitler. Yeah. So <laughs> he's Hitler. Hitler. He hates Jews. And you're like, well, like this. Wait, it's because they have. It's more of the common origin thing. It's kind of uh -huh. like you know the compare in evolution when they say we evolved from monkeys, but they're uh -huh. like, well, no, common ancestors from monkey. If you actually look into the the details of the of 
Darwin's theories of evolution. It's, it's common ancestry. It's not that we evolved from the apes. It's that it's common ancestry. It's that same kind of thing in here where they say, beer is, uh, because of beer, this happened. Where it's like, uh -huh. oh, no, we, well, they did this thing to help beer, and that thing also... Yeah, there's a lot other of stuff things. that contributes to everything. But there are a few where it does directly relate. Now, bad being a bad docu documentary aside... Yes, aside from its flaws. From its flaws. Wait, I don't of, think it's supposed to be an actual documentary. No, it's, it's more so just supposed like, to be entertaining. It's just entertaining, yeah. and this is, that's why I picked this. It's yeah, entertaining. I, I do like it's just really entertaining. entertaining. Discovery Channel does do those things a lot where they'll get you interested in a topic. So oh. it, it tells you enough information that that gets you interested in it, and once it piques your interest, then you can go and do your further research if you really want to know more about uh -huh. that. But they're, they're an entertainment channel. They're yeah. to produce entertainment. And some of that, like Discovery can get away with that more. Uh, it upsets me when History Channel does it, because mm. they're... The History History's in the name, and then when they start doing Ancient Aliens, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus was why is that not on sci-fi? That's, that's you, when they don't have the evidence to back it up, and it's all just wild speculation. Yeah. 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 So one funny thing about this is when it came on Netflix a long time ago, mm -hmm. I had a couple of friends who just like took it for like absolute truth. Absolute truth. Yeah. <laughs> As you know, it's a beer because we wouldn't be here. But and we're like, well, that was you know, uh, that's all theory, right? A lot yeah. of the people in this kind of reminded me of frat guys, especially the people singing in the oh in yeah the, in yeah. the bar. And I wanted like this seems like a very popular. You know, thing to watch for for fraternity. Yeah, just yeah. like any beer centric culture like that. Just it's the way of life is beer. They're like beer's amazing. Beer's the greatest thing ever. I mean, it would be a great. Part, it would be a great thing to throw on in the middle yeah. of a party. Mm -hmm. It would. But with not the, an orgy. But since this one's a standalone well, one, uh, since this one's a standalone one though, in in that in that house stuff you haven't been series, to that orgies for <laughs> They kind of in the house stuff work series they'll do those argu the same arguments, uh -huh. but then in the next series where they're talking about corn. They'll do the same arguments, but have corn be the reason for everything. Uh -huh. And then they'll do another one on yeah. Christmas, and yeah. those Christmas is the reason for like, The same things are like, uh, this caused all of that, but it's all the same things. It's really just to say beer had a part in all of these. Uh -huh. And to show that it, it it's was... It's like certain politicians claiming that they they taking claim for, yeah. for certain things, and they had nothing to do with it. Like the internet. Al Gore invented it. Like many things. That's exactly. well, the only one. It's the correlation one. because they were in charge of this at the time, or they were nearby it at the time. But yeah, there were a lot of interesting things, like the uh, the song that came the, from the drinking song. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. And the then I didn't anthem. realize that they drank you know, that type of beer in Egypt you know, mm. for the nutrients and things like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. There were some interesting that, well, yeah, facts. That was yeah. cool, yeah. too. And I think they, they did, a, I, in the in the House of Work series, they kind of did a better job talking about the the no, first in, in, when they first discovered beer and they, they go into that a bit in here when they talk about it being left out in the right conditions uh, and the other one they say in, in the, there's a one on grain that talks about it and saying that they had first started with like you're in love with this oh, show you know, I like these types of shows uh, although they enrage me as I watch them because I like them because they give me some good like it's entertaining historical information you're gaining some information and knowledge but then they give you those arguments of stuff that's just complete lies and I yell at my screen and want to throw stuff mm -hmm. at them. Uh, I get very upset sometimes on these, like with ice cream. It's, no, they didn't, beer didn't create ice cream. Um, well, it wasn't saying that it created ice cream. But it us to believe that. They, they it said, said without beer, there might not have been my, ice cream. But there probably would have. Yeah, there It was Jonathan Ice Cream who invented ice cream. <laughs> yes. Yes. Not a lot of people know that. Yeah. His name was weird before that. Like, I'll show you all. I think it was something like the they were saying the fermentation process for milk, right? Yeah, because yeah. It because of it also is the pasteurizing process. Yeah, pasteurizing. That's Louis, Louis Pasteur, when he started noticing that there was stuff crawling around in his beer because he was drunk, and it actually led to something. Looking through. Yeah, it's like the back of be like, "There's living creatures in my beer. It's making it go bad." That's crazy. And then he's like, "Maybe, well, maybe. maybe we get go bad. Maybe if, if beer go bad, maybe we go bad." Maybe thing make beer go bad, thing maybe, make us go bad. Maybe you didn't make other living things go and then, bad. And then he discovered bacteria. That yeah. was really weird the way you both just did that. <laughs> you know, go bad? <laughs> so you're talking drunk. to a baby about beer and about. <laughs> because he, he's drunk. He was, he was wasted and he's, he's not. I know, but it's weird being on this <laughs> end of two of those. You're not drunk! <laughs> it, is, it's, it is weird being on the end of watching people being drunk, and now you know watching Chuck and Debates. <laughs> Zing! Zing! Ah! Uh, yes. 
what any other are there what other interesting things segments of this stood out to you? I mean, I mean, I still like to kind of I like to think that it's true that you know the pubs helped. I mean, they did with the revolution and things like that. It's like uh, it's a was, gathering point. Yeah, yeah, the whole social media thing yes. before social media. It was not only was it before Google, but it was also before Twitter and Facebook. What? Let me check the facts on that. <laughs> yeah, I think they went too far on that. Yeah, one. I don't know. I don't know. I'll give them before Google, but Twitter's ancient. Uh, yeah, uh, ending child labor. Beer, beer ended child labor. Uh, oh, that's right. Because <laughs> it. Because well, the glass blowing industry. It didn't yeah. claim that it ended it completely. It said it substantially reduced it. Yes, least. that's but, what it uh, said. Because I guess kids used to blow beer bottles. That's but no, it a lot more be, than beer no, bottles. No, 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 no they can't blow beer bottles. They had done other it, assembly line stuff. They they had blown glass, and I think what it was was that because there was such a high demand for beer, beer bottle, they had that to, they had to me- mechanize the yeah, mechanize. machines to do it. Yeah, mechanize it. <laughs> they had yeah, they had to mechanize it. <laughs> they had to find a better way of doing that, and uh-huh. that led them to needing to do that. It also invented the written language. Oh right, yeah. That was <laughs> stretch too. The, the I'm assuming the that would be that here they, without the beer. The, the argument that they put forth for why beer invented the written language is they said some early texts involve the the involve like receipts for the transactions of things, including beer. That was one where like you cannot give beer the claim for that you when it's that saying it's multiple me of, things. That reminds me of Joe Rogan. He has yes. this thing where he talks about how monkeys were taking shrooms, so they were smarter than, you know, than the other monkeys, and it released their minds, so evolution jumped up a couple steps because of psychedelic mushrooms on monkeys. Pretty much everything Joe Rogan thinks, <laughs> thinks that's it's, interesting. Now wait. I'm going to wait until some scientists <laughs> back that out. So it's, he, but, wait, so, uh, hold on. So it opened up their he's mind. He's saying that if I took shrooms... As a monkey. My di- no, 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 hold on. Uh-huh. If I took shrooms, my descendants would be would be faster evolved. You you would open your mind to arts and stuff like that. He says language came when they opened up their mind and they. Oh, I see. Okay, so okay. Social evolution. Okay. Yes. Monkeys were just monkeys, and so we should give shrooms to dolphins. Yes. Oh God, yeah. And then play with their little holes. Yeah. Yeah. We should. Maybe. I don't know about that. Because they're they're the second smartest animal because their brains. Except for bees. Is mm. they wiggle when they talk. No, no, don't. No. <laughs> it's tough to give shrooms to bees. Without <laughs> having a common language, it's it's kind of tough to, to actually identify who's smarter on which level. It's the same kind of problem. Well, no, they, they gauge it on um, because what makes us so yeah, smart is our been, brain size proportion to our body size. Yeah, but then it also because your brain, your body cells. needs certain number of brain cells to like function in general, like motor skills and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then we just have a bunch of extra brain space, I guess, is what makes us. I'm, I'm talking about the, the the fine detail on that. I want to actually put it to use, you know. Because yeah, so, dolphins have sex for fun. They're like the only other species, right? Them and monkeys. I've heard that for a, for a few different species. I don't know about that actually. I, I always hear that claim. Because I had sex with a dog, and he did not enjoy it at all. I'm not sure if I believe the second half of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Wait, too long, did he say that in? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the first time I, wa- I tried watching through this, uh, I fell asleep, but I was pretty tired. But that was because you were tired. I was tired, so I'll give it a tired. I was, was tired. Yeah, I was trying to cover more of that, and then I finished watching it. Because uh, this has a pretty high rating. On yeah, IMDb. it's got a it's got a high rating all over. It's got a seven point four on IMDb. It re- it recommended to me at least four out of five. And that's two hundred and forty. That's out of the critics or out of that's just oh that's the users of IMDb. People. That's two hundred and forty uh, people. It's all the drunk frat kids. But it's got it's got a four out of five on its recommendation for me on Netflix. So I mean, it is interesting. Yeah, that's pretty high. For I still me. gave it a five because I'd like to see other things like it. But the thing is, is like this is the sad, I mean, this is sort of the sad thing. This is like this is what they need. Documentaries these days have have, have to have been so aware, have to be so aware of making a good film and not just putting forth a good documentary. Yeah, and most of them have been, have been getting a like lot even better. like the last few years. We were watching the Scrabble season. one, yeah. and if they didn't have Marlin in there, no, no, it's the <laughs> that one's based on those characters. Like, yeah. We're watching extra stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scrabble, the um, competition? Yeah. yeah. A documentary How many called... motherfuckers in the inner city play Scrabble? <laughs> <laughs> There's a documentary called Word Wars. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. man. It's, it's That's some, on my queue. Yeah. It's some good stuff. Yeah. Some good stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't But yes. Um, I mean, granted, he actually was, you mean, never mind. Never mind. So then zero, is zero gravity beer, uh, they, they're developing zero gravity beer to, uh, oh, oh, uh, without it's basically non-carbonated, yeah, flat, non it's flat beer. Flat beer. Yeah, you're yes. like, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, you've invented. <laughs> Just take a bottle of whiskey you've invented or something. Flat beer. Yeah, exactly. No, we need yeah, beer. whiskey, no. Because beer, <laughs> it's, yeah, some of these things are ridiculous. Um, well, I mean, like, yeah, inventing flat beer. Right? I'll invent flat beer for you. Come on, like, just give me, let me get buy a 12-pack. And it's and kind of a pretentious time. title for that, with how beer saved the world. Did you say Tetris? A Tetris title? title? Pre it kind of does look like oh, Tetris, Tetris coming down. It's, yeah. It looks like Monty Python. The, yeah, oh, my God, it does. So, yeah, the way the... the they probably totally moment. did that, actually. Mm, could have. No, that totally is Yeah, it. steal the Terry Gilliam style on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. And there's the world. Oh, no wonder that looks so familiar. It's the world underneath it. It looks like more like beer's crushing the world there, though. <laughs> it's destroying the world. Mm. How beer destroyed. That's, that's probably more. That would be a good <laughs> one. I <laughs> want to see that documentary. Oh, that would be Same people Brought do it. Matt. Yeah. And Matt. Martin there, Ives. That's the other I issue guess. with these. Who wrote this it. type of documentary, too. It's, it's that, that same issue you run into with a lot of documentarians who do the very one sided documentaries. Yeah. This one is extremely one-sided because it doesn't show any negatives and it's just completely the positive. <laughs> Though I get, you but can kind of see that because there's so much negative out there. Uh-huh. Oh, about so alcohol that, there is? Yeah. And, oh, I didn't I mean, <laughs> yeah, yes, there's a few people who have a th few things to say. <laughs> it gets both. It gets that was both so right now. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I guess that's why they don't really need to. It's just, just one that focus on positive. Yeah. <laughs> It's a smooth cover your boner. Yeah. You got a table. <coughs> yes. Exciting. Exciting. So uh, that why... would be cool to see the dis destroy the world. That so would be really cool. yeah. So what was a, a made motivating factor in picking this? Because other. Okay, it was mainly because like I don't think that this is a very popular. Yeah. I don't think it's very popular, but no, I thought I mean, it was like really dang entertaining. Yeah. Like, I had a lot of... The first time I watched it was a lot of fun. The second time, not so much. But um, Same well, the first I definitely think it's a watch, watch it once. Yeah. Um, and if you ever watch it again, watch it drunk. Uh, we don't encourage you drinking unless you're over 21. Um, even or, then, it depends on kind of pre-existing conditions. And yeah. Things, yeah. 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 Basically. <laughs> Do what you want. Drink if you should. <laughs> um, if you should. Know yourself. Yeah. <laughs> But basically, yeah, uh, and so, I don't know, I thought that that was, that was the reason I picked it, was just because I thought it was dang entertaining the first time I watched I, it. I think if I hadn't really, seen... Just really fun to watch. Yeah, if I hadn't seen those the other series that was like this, then uh, it probably, probably would have been better. Yeah, it probably would affect me more. Yeah. Um, I still, you know, thought it was interesting with the things, it's just, a lot of it was like, I'd either heard that before, or it's said in this different way. This was the but, first uh, beer documentary I'd watched, yeah. so that's mm -hmm. probably what did it for me then. I like that it's short, too. That, yeah, it is 45. Or This one says 60, but I'm, they're rounding up. Yeah, no. It was like 44. 44. Yeah. 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 Unless there's maybe IMDb Net, the Netflix version of it. Yeah. Sometimes there's things that they are... They probably just listed as 60 minutes because it was made on TV and they're counting the whole oh, time the thing. And, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a TV mm -hmm. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like rabble. This rabble, rabble. Rabble. Yes. Um, so, yeah. What would you guys give this, I guess? Ah, uh, it's so tough because it's... Well, just so I could see more, I'd yeah, give it a five. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it, If you want to see more like this, I'd, I'd probably... But, I, but without that, just it. without taking that in consideration, I'd, I'd say four. Well, without taking what into like the, the, he see. wants to see more like this because that's when you when you rate on Netflix, oh, it's I gonna see. then suggest things yeah. like this. So not that you necessarily love that, but you're like, I I want Netflix to know that if there's something else like this comes yeah. up, I want to watch it. I see, I yeah. see. That's gonna recommend that to you highly. Now, <clears throat> so that's why this kind of balances between three and four to me. Uh, I'd probably say four. Yeah. All around. Sorry. Because uh, even even with the Netflix consideration in mind. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to see that. Oh, that's really good. You liked it. 
I did not like it. I didn't want to see a certain film that I watched a week ago. <laughs> I only saw it because I got it for free. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, um... Well, yeah. 3 and 4? 3.5? 3.5. Yeah. Yeah. 3.5. Not the 7.4. And, and is it just... Although the 7.4 on here, you have to divide that in half. So wait, wait a minute. Did we find something John didn't like? No, I liked it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was close. That was close. <laughs> that was close. Yeah. Because there's always going to be... You, it's easy. Easy to pick me, you know? Just go, oh, horror film. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. No, I won't like it. We found plenty you don't like. Yeah. So I think we did better. I I think I think for the <laughs> horror film we picked, you still appreciate that more than most horror films. So we're still good with that. I had some appreciation for it. Yeah. For the one we discussed on that on Instagram. Oh, the it. the one that's actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah that one exactly that one yeah yeah. So I I wasn't trying to pick a film that you wouldn't like. I was trying to go into a genre that you don't like as a whole yeah. and find the good ones. In it. <clears throat> and that's a good thing. I don't want to torture people with this show. That's not fun. Well, I do for my next choice. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> Segway right there. I'm very... What is it? I don't know. Oh, go? My next choice? Yeah. You just segue right yeah. into it, man. <laughs> wow. Well, my next choice is... The segue. It's a masterpiece. I loved it's it. It's a masterpiece. I loved it as a child. Yeah. Oh. And I'm gonna love it as an adult again. That's a it long is title. The Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that film. I didn't want that reaction. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tony's leaving and going to this other show. <laughs> oh, but I actually—I mean, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, you, you haven't, haven't seen, seen it? it? No. Oh, nice. Oh, right. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. I've seen it a few times. I used to watch <laughs> so it like every year. <laughs> yeah, it's so dumb. Right now. <laughs> Um, let me see if we can read the description. I mean, if you read the title, you pretty much... Yeah, if you read the title, it's pretty much the title. <laughs> I, I, assume that about, I assume that about this film, actually. There's going to be killing. What? There's going to be clowns. What? It's going to be outer space. Uh, well, they're going to... Uh, <laughs> wait. Are the clowns from outer space? Really? I don't want to give it away. Yeah. Closing, closing. I'm going to pull up the... I pull oh, up did we not actually finish that documentary? No, we have 10 minutes left. No, that's a shame. Aaron knows. Sandy. Aranos means Sandy. <laughs> it's it's an adjective. I can't believe it. All right. Well, I guess we. Oh, it's almost here. Stall, guys. Stall. Someone stall. Oh, these glasses are really Death nice. Who's are these? Those are, mine. are they really? When do you so? When do you think you're gonna get an episode of Drunken Debates going? Oh, I don't know. Whenever. <laughs> Whenever. It should be funny. So, uh, rate and review. <laughs> Whenever we get Charles what, over. What about I was just going to ask? Is it Charles? Like, I guess Charles, it's could, up to, Char- yeah, Charles couldn't do it this weekend, I know. Oh, I don't even know. I talk- I'll let John be, uh, be the He's gonna in between. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charles okay. is untrusting of me. And <laughs> <laughs> Why would he not trust you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I would still say don't read the review. Or don't read the description on okay. Netflix. Um, because all you need to know is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That's With enough. K's for the clowns. Not, oh, yes. Not a C. Yeah. K-K-F-O-S. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. What's the year? 1988. There you go. It's good. It's about, about around when yeah. the Garbage Pail came out. Garbage Pail yep. Kids. It's an hour and 26 minutes. So, not bad. It's under, half, under an hour and a half. It's standard. Yeah, 86 minutes. This is either going to be torture or good. I think it's going to turn it around <laughs> for you in the genre of horrible horror. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a classic. Horrible horror can be good. We'll tell you it's a classic. That has potential. <laughs> that's 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 good. Um, so I hope you all enjoy Killer Pass <laughs> Out of Space. It depends on what kind of horrible. <laughs> there are two kinds of horrible in horrible. Doctor. Films. Doctor. I think it's good horrible. All right, we'll see. I'll I'll rewatch it and sit down and watch it. We'll see. We'll see how I think about it as well. This might be an interesting one. Um, we'll see you all next week. Yeah. Check out Drunker Debates if you haven't. Um, yeah, it's an, it's, it's a very interesting. Oh, you can see Tony in a you can whole. You see Tony in action, life. getting drunk. <laughs> we drink so much on that. I didn't realize how many shots we took. I did like you guys were so much drunker after. Apparently, I, oh, the, oh, if only we had recorded. That the was after, the man. first time I I blacked out. I don't remember getting to Rocky Cola. I woke up like this, just like, what? And all I right. have no clue how we... Let's guess more of that later. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and listening. Good night.